Taking a quick peek into this London music store, it was easy to think, is this it? The launch of Michael Jackson's new album here, decidedly low-key. I didn't actually know it was coming out, so I saw like the adverts and stuff, but yeah, I only really came to get it, but I'll probably end up spending a lot more money than I was supposed to. She wound up buying two copies and a t-shirt. Others were just as surprised and just as delighted. When he brought the number ones out, it was amazing, but this is just all the classics you want. I mean, man in the mirror. In this store, you can also find calendars and t-shirts. Some clearly made for Jackson's sold-out London shows, cancelled after his death. But there was no repeat of the emotional scenes that followed. In the days just after his death, fans flooded stores like this from looking for anything from Michael Jackson. While we have contrast, this new album's release has been relatively understated. The retailers say they're expecting big sales. Later in the week, an exhibition of the star's memorabilia in London and the worldwide release of the documentary about his last months, also called This Is It. I think this time around we're not going to see quite the same intense response, but we will see people buying it regularly over a period of time, particularly once the exhibition kicks off, which is happening this week. Uh, the film comes out as well, of course, so that's going to generate a huge amount of awareness. Stores like this one are hoping to turn that awareness into big Christmas profits. Morgan Neal, CNN, London.